wake-up call, prepare to die. Welcome to Trivia Murder Party. Death's in the air, and there's free coffee in the lobby. Only one of you will survive. It's been all over the news. I mean, there was a whole montage about it at the beginning, so I'm surprised you didn't see this coming. Okay, first question. When did the Red Baron shoot down planes? Use your device to answer the question. And the correct answer is... Who got the question right? Welp, didn't want that to happen. Let's try another one. What is made by being flash frozen in a liquid nitrogen? Who picked this? Everyone again? You all need to be taught a lesson. Welcome to the killing room. I hope you like gifts. All this family stuff holds bad memories for me. So I'd rather pass that burden on to you. Pick a box and keep what's inside. Don't shake them or you'll wake them. Oh, it's one of Uncle Clive's old time bombs. You'll have to answer questions a lot faster now to keep from blowing up. I should really keep better track of where he's hitting all those bombs. Just in case you like scores, here's where I keep them. Let's keep moving. What weapon slays the Jabberwocky in Through the Looking Glass? This. The rest of you, time for consequences. Welcome to room 217. Thanks! You're going to drop down this board and try to avoid the death zones. Hmm, someone needs to pick which slots are death zones. Go ahead, everyone else. Choose a slot to make it no bueno. Okay. Let the games begin. Pick a spot to drop from. You're right, Bill Nye. Gravity is cool. Oh, good. The death zones work. done with you yet. You're a ghost now. Keep playing and you just might steal someone else's life force and win the game. Let's try another one. Which of these Axe body spray scents did I just make up? Who picked 
this. <laughs> Everyone is wrong. I want to show you something. Ugh, this one is heavy. Everyone pick an elevator door. If you all pick the same side, you all live. But if there's a split decision, I will kill everyone on the heavier side. I have a good feeling about this. Whatever that means. Let's see where you all landed. Did I not make it clear that at least one of you should try to betray the others? Come on! We're here! When one player is left alive, we'll go to the final round. Next question. What is the root of suffering? Who picked this? The rest of you who are still alive, follow me. I hope you're good with instructions. Follow as many rules as you can before time runs out. The player who follows the fewest rules correctly dies. Go! There's not a lot for me to do during this game. Hmm. Huh? I guess I'll update my LinkedIn account. Rule time is coming to an end! I was pretty clear about what would happen if you didn't follow the rules. Let's keep moving. If I add sugar and cinnamon to my pickling process, what kind of pickle am I making? Who <laughs> picked this? Come with me. Oh look! It's the loser wheel! Spin that thing! Just like the price is right, but totally different for legal reasons. Well, the loser wheel's gonna loser wheel, you know? My family used to make a killing running this old hotel, and I'm here to make sure that killing never ends. Let's try another one. If I push you off the back of a boat to a watery grave, where were you last seen alive? Just take a second to say that I'm glad that bomb exploded. Okay, moving on. Who picked this? <laughs> Everyone is wrong. It's time. Let's see if the safe players are good at forgery. Oh, hey, look! The ghost of my Aunt Mildred is writing on this mirror. She has her own consistent handwriting. Now, Aunt Mildred is going to write a different word, but so will all the safe players. Draw a word on the mirror, and maybe you'll trick someone into thinking it's Aunt Mildred's. And start writing. 
Pay attention to the words as they appear and try to spot my auntie. So many convincing words to choose from. Now, type the word that Aunt Mildred wrote or you die. <laughs> Enter the right word now, or you die. Oh. Would the real Aunt Mildred please stand up? Looks like there's no fooling you. Aren't you special? You know what that means. Let's keep moving. Which Cartoon Network show featuring the Crystal Gems was created by Rebecca Sugar? Who picked this? Ah, oh, crap. Let's try another one. According to Runtime, which of these hotels would you be in the longest? Who picked this? Time for consequences. Let's see who has ESP. Type in an answer that fits this category. Everyone else will answer too. And if anyone matches you, you die. Get to writing. Now, let's see if there are any matches. No matches, but I wanted to believe! Ah, crap! It's checkout time and too many of you are still alive. Let's fix that. Okay, this is a game where only one person can survive, so... I hope you don't mind a little water. Only one of these keys will open the lock to your tank. So many keys to choose from. Oof, not off to a great start. Choose another key. It's no loser wheel, but it gets the job done. You've made it so far, but can you escape? I'm going to give you a category. The French mother sausage. Let's see the right answers. You move forward one space for each correct answer. You're on your way to escaping, but you're not alone in here. If a ghost catches you, they'll steal your life force. Then they can try to escape and win the game. Here's everyone's next question. And ghosts get a third choice to help them catch up to you. Time is almost up. Hmm. That 
one was too easy. James Bond villains. because there's a ghost right there. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. It's only darkness. Shakespeare quotes. Time is almost up. Let's just call that a fluke. The darkness approaches. Hogwarts teachers. The tables have turned. Ten-letter words. Wow! I don't know who's gonna win! Tomato varieties. Time is almost up. Another life force swap. Hello, darkness. James Patterson doubles. If you want to break through that barrier, you'll need a perfect answer to this question. And that includes the third answer choice now, too. Tarot bars. You have to get all the right answers to escape. More stolen life force. Group three. Time is almost up. 